A lot of people want to learn a foreign language, maybe you're one of them, but they're not willing to become language learners or see themselves as language learners. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, to be successful at learning a foreign language, you're going to have to create a new self-identity, a new worldview, if you really want to succeed. See, a lot of us take any kind of goal, not just learning a foreign language. We just want to have a simple transaction. We want to follow a certain series of steps or check off the boxes of a certain checklist and then get the result, get what we're looking for, walk away, it's done, we've achieved it. But a lot of goals are not really so simple. You would do far better and make longer lasting progress far more efficiently if you at first attached to a new set of philosophical values and insights and a new story about yourself. And that's where some of my ideas sort of plug in or dovetail with the conversation about language learning. I've been designing since about 2016, not only games, but really whole worlds that can make you feel like you're a part of a new group, a new movement of committed, like-minded individuals. The resources that I'm building can help you to form a new identity that's going to be conducive to your goal of learning a foreign language. So I want to take care of you guys and I want to cultivate this community of people who aren't just trying to achieve a particular end in a certain amount of time, but they want to go more deeply into the journey. They want to go more deeply into the meaning. And they also want to walk this journey with other people and make friends. And they also want to experience a flowering of their souls. They want to experience a transformation of their internal state so that they live a more rich life and they feel that they're a new kind of person through this goal that they've chosen, this path that they've chosen, which is language learning. So you guys who have been following this channel, you know I hawk my products. I've got card games to sell, but it's far more than that. How many of you know that I write creative language learning fiction that backs up these games? Are you a creative writer or do you enjoy reading creative fiction? I have a fantasy themed story. There's wizards and magic and goblins and trolls and all kinds of monsters and the thing in the land which brings them their power is their ability to learn different languages. So imagine, if you will, like reading Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings, but language learning features in heavily. Language learning plays a big part in the story. This story, even if you don't really like the fantasy genre, what it is, is a vehicle for my language learning philosophies and tips and advice that I want to share with you. And it's also sort of an expose, I don't know if that's the right word, but it's um, it also showcases some characters who struggle with certain character flaws like insecurities or laziness or rebelliousness around their language learning, and so it's holding them back. So we, so we get to see their progress and how they handle that through the story. And then the card game, well, the card game actually has those characters on the card, so you can play as those characters and the story comes to life. Now, if you want to take it a step further, I actually can help you to design what I call an alter ego. So I find this really helpful because remember that Beyonce had Sasha Fierce, Kobe Bryant had the Mamba. The star performers in the world know that sometimes your how you see yourself is limited. Even if you think you don't have that many self-limiting beliefs, you do. We all have them. So it's helpful to establish an alter ego which you can look up to, which you can believe in, 
which is what you want to be next, which is where you want to go. It's helpful to have a higher vision of yourself, which you can visualize and affirm. So I can do that for you in a very concrete way. We can design a character who fits into this world that I've made, the story and the game. And that will motivate you to learn much more about the topics that you care to speak about in whatever foreign language you want to learn. So we can do that. And not only that, but there's one more thing. We have a thriving community of people who get together every Saturday to play these games that I've mentioned and to share their experiences. These people are incredibly fun-loving and positive, and they come from different countries all over the world. So this is where our language learning journeys intersect and really get real because we're making real, living, breathing friends who we get to connect with. I mean, how many people today are using social media in the wrong way? They're living sort of under the veil, this illusion of connectedness, but they're not actually making real friends. Okay, this is something that I say time and time again. We need to get into live rooms, either physically, like physical language exchanges at a local bar or park or whatever, or next best, next best thing, we need to get together in online video calls so we can see each other and chat and spend time together. This is how you really build relationships that matter. If you're just texting and posting and not spending dedicated time with people, your brain's not really going to register that those people matter. So you have to spend dedicated time with them, and that's what we're doing, and I'm proud to say that We've had about 50 people since April of 2023 come out to about 50 online game events. So we've had friendships being formed from people from all corners of the globe. It's amazing. And we're sharing our understanding of our languages and culture. Right now we have core groups that play in Japanese, Mandarin, and Spanish. We've had many other games for languages like Turkish, French, German, um, I know I'm forgetting, forgetting a few, but our core groups right now, the ones that play the most regularly, are Japanese, Spanish, and Mandarin. And we have pre-built study guides which cover all the topics in the game, which I can send to you in advance if you would like to study up and see, you know, get, get some ideas about the kinds of topics we're discussing as we play this game. So community is really important. Again, it makes the language learning journey so much more memorable and significant. So at the end of this video today, how do you feel? Are you ready to join our community of language learners? You don't have to walk this language learning journey alone. And our goal is to make your language learning journey truly unforgettable. I'll see you back here next time. Bye-bye for now.